they think that uh, you can use the transgenders to sell the beer. This LGBTQ stuff is destroying, hurting most gays. Most gays do not like this because a, a, a real transgender who believes in women's rights and men's rights would not support having male transgenders compete with women in women's sports. This hurts and this causes violence. In this room, I have listened to adults spew transphobic rhetoric. I learned of the deep hate that people harbor and release onto others. I watched policies pass that directly harm queer students like me. I cried, listening to the bickering that might be amusing if my well-being and safety didn't hang in the balance. I clung to a friend's hand, outraged and afraid at what I was hearing. Over the past year I've spent speaking at board meetings, I've turned naivety into pragmatism. I've learned greatly from everyone who has spoken, understanding the hopes and the fears of this district. I've been hardened by hate and softened by acceptance. I hope you will change too, for the sake of queer youth. My name is Leo Birchall and I use he, him pronouns. I'm a senior at Central Books West and I'm the president of the Sexuality and Gender Alliance there. I'd like to preface my speech by saying that all my words are my own. No one has written them for me or asked me to say them. A lot can happen in three minutes. Right now, someone, somewhere, has just birthed their first child. Someone just lost their dad. Someone is feeling heartbreak for the first time. Someone is having their first kiss. In the time I will take to speak to you today, countless lives will have been changed irreversibly. I'm not here to change lives, though. I'm just here to bear my soul, as I have for so many months. I will tell you my truth for three minutes, and you can decide what you want to do with it. I'll pick out a few three-minute moments from my life. In the span of three minutes, someone used my pronouns without asking me for the first time. In another three minutes, I told a friend about a crush. I was called sir at my job. I bought my first suit. These are all moments that come a little easier to cisgender people. You may take them for granted, but I don't, and I never will. I celebrate the small moments that I've had to fight for because I am transgender and because I am queer. I have sacrificed so I can now celebrate. But not every three minutes have lent me happiness. I've admitted some of my deepest fears to the people in, the, in this room in three minutes. I dove into the darkness in my story, hoping it would cause you to listen, to see me as a human. I tried staying peaceful and professing love. I tried getting angry. I tried everything I knew, hoping it would do the trick. And for some, it has. I've brought a little bit of light to queer students' lives. I've lent some hope to my fellow students, but my work is not done. Most of you come to these meetings with a set of ideas, knowing you will not change your mind. You are here to speak and not listen. I have listened, and what I know is this. Every person just wants to keep what they love safe. I want to keep my friends safe. Parents want to keep their kids safe. Some people want to keep themselves safe from change. But I promise, change will not harm you. If this change makes Central Buck School District a better environment for queer students, change will only serve to uplift those who are currently broken down. I hope my three minutes tonight has opened your mind. Three minutes can change everything, or nothing at all. I cannot change everything, but I can change myself every day for the better. I hope you will change, too, for the sake of queer youth. Thank you.